Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome to the channel if you're new here, and hello, welcome if you are a friend coming back and hanging out with me. Appreciate that. We are going to wrap up the shop and haul that we started on Tuesday. If you missed that, um, I will share that over here <laughs> or find it down below in the information box if you're watching me on a big screen, which is a scary thought. <laughs> we had a great time on this day. Me and my Aunt Beth started at an estate sale and found some really great things, some good money makers. So go back and watch. Um, and then we stopped at a small thrift store called Bargain Town Thrift and we ended up at the Akron Lakemore, we call it the Lakemore um, Goodwill, and we had a 35% off coupon to spend. So we were very conscious of pricing because when you can take a third off the price, some things that you maybe wouldn't uh, normally pick up, you definitely pick up. <laughs> the last thing that I ended with was this gorgeous paperweight that I only spent two dollars on actually it's marked two dollars so 35 percent off of that which was an amazing deal this is a beautiful piece and it will be making an appearance on tuesday like in five days <laughs> for my third solo chat and sale so if you haven't been to one, please come over. It is a no pressure situation. If things don't sell, that's okay. They go to eBay or they go over to my booth. So y'all don't have to buy anything. Just come and uh, chat me up. Um, I'd love to learn more about you guys and feel free to ask me questions. I'm pretty much an open book. So just come on over, hang out. And if you find something beautiful that you want, um, I will have a handful of those things. I will actually share those things sometime between now and then over on my Instagram. And if you are not following me on Instagram, I will connect that down below as well. So keep an eye out for that and you'll see kind of the pile of things that we will sell on that night. I'm gonna do it just like I did it the last time. If you were at the last uh, sale, I'm gonna do most of the things choice. So as you're bidding, you're bidding for one thing or the other, and you have a chance at the second thing if that's what you're bidding for. And it worked out really well, I think. So that's what we're probably gonna do this time. I really hope you come because it's so much fun to chat with you guys since, like I said on Tuesday, I'm just chatting with a little green dot, <laughs> which is kind of weird, <laughs> but that's okay, so am I. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to that Goodwill and finish this shopping trip see what else we found some really good things so stick around let's go shopping if you recall we are at 1500 canton road in akron ohio and i will pick up right where we left off the goopy hat i do not know the upstairs bears He's cute. Look at him. The little sponge work treatment. Cute. He's older. Again, three dollars. Do I want him for three? Now knowing he's thirty-five percent off. He's extremely cute. I had a duck phase. I won't. I won't be mad at you for a duck phase. I have only found one other one example of this, and it was actually a Camper, um, written Q-U-I-M-P-E-R, I think. So it looks like Quimper, but it's pronounced Camper. Um, that is a pottery that uses a tin glaze. I can see made in Japan. It's really hard to see on here because of all the crazing, but it's in there. It's right in here somewhere. It was the exact same uh, shape, the exact same mold, and I will share that here. It's a really pretty piece though, and it has great age. It needs a little cleaning, but has lots of crazing in the bottom, and this little planter would look adorable this spring or summer, you know, on a shelf with a little uh, succulent or air plant in it. This might have to appear um, in Tuesday's sale. I definitely think that one of you would love him. This is the Avon. We still have all of these Avon pieces here that were here from weeks ago. No, that's an older one. Yeah. Yeah, I have several oil lamps. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a tin. Upstairs fan. I like that. Man. It says, uh, these are Chromex. These are made by Chromex. It's employed. Look at this cutie. Look yeah. at this employed. Easy. $93. $4. 35% off. True, true. Um, these are great to get these kind of seasonal things. Uh, we try and stock up on them because we know we have to be ahead of the game on that stuff. So when the seasons kind of are starting to come up, we get as much as we can over at the booth because that stuff just sells. Seasonal stuff is like the top seller um, during those times of year. So this is a great little fall seasonal piece, this little mouse, and he's stinking cute, right? Look at his little backside little tail oh my gosh after some research this guy may go on ebay the last one sold without the candle for thirty dollars there's only one other one listed close to 50 with the candle and check out how cute these sets are oh my goodness the willow tree lost her head is her head anywhere in sight i don't see her head so they put her out here with three dollars on her well, without a head she broke after she was out here Oh, this is weird. What is this? Somebody made a... It's all... <laughs> birdie oh, tea party. Yeah. Your feathered friends could use a rest. A dainty teacup would be the best. A cup of water. A plate of seed. A tiny perch is all you need. A pretty spot surrounded with flowers. And you'll be entertained for hours. Oh, so it's made for like a bird. You put it outside. Uh. These are older. Those have chickens on them. I always like the way these look. What? I do really well with salt and pepper shakers, so this set will be going over to the booth to be sold with my other salt and pepper shakers. They are very good quality pieces. They still have their corks, so it's kind of a no-brainer to pick them up. Look at this cute little chipmunk with the tiny, tiny little turtle. Oh, he's cute. Two dollars cute. Is he a, a chipless? Is he a chipless chipmunk? No, I just noticed he's got a big uh, chunk missing. That's a cute little guy. Good condition. Uh, no. Still got salt and pepper in it. Uh huh. Oh, that one's got his eyes closed, and this one's like. That's cute. They're cute. How much are they? Three bucks. Oh, well, uh, it would be two. Are they chipped? Nope. 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 Are they? They're pretty modern, though. Yeah, but they're still cute. And they're owls. So get them. People are into owls. Yes, that's true. Are people enough? Maybe. No. Oh, those are cool. Those are over in the wood area? Yeah. Way down on the bottom shelf where you don't look. I look there. I just can't bend there right now. <laughs> I think those are great. Yeah. What do you think about this? Think it's Murano? <laughs> no, but it's pretty. <laughs> oh, they only have $3 on it. Everything doesn't have to be Murano. It's three dollars on it. People say, "Is it?" Oh, no, I know that's why I say it because it's funny. It's pretty. Only oh, three dollars. Three dollars, which is pretty awesome because at thirty-five percent off, I got this for two. <laughs> 
Now, don't get too excited about it if you think you would uh, buy this from me in a sale. I have no interest in shipping this <laughs> whatsoever. The bottom, the pontal and everything is nice and sanded, polished, um, and it is very pretty. It's very pretty. I could see this um, on somebody's, you know, table as a console bowl. I am gonna take this to the shop because like I said, I don't wanna ship it. And there are quite a few glass people at the shop. And because I got it so cheaply, I can put a really good affordable price on it. And that's awesome. In this same area where I found that big piece of glass, I found a couple other things and I don't see them on my camera. So I'm not sure if I thought I was recording and wasn't recording or just neglected, I don't know. <laughs> One of them is this set of LK strawberry patch dishes. Um, LK I believe is a restaurant. I would love to hear from somebody who remembers it or who had one. Um, I think my aunt remembers um, having one in the um, Painesville Mentor area of Ohio. So if you're local and you remember one, please comment and let us know if there was one or if you were south of here, because I think I'm seeing them more south of here, but there were five of these glasses. They were marked $5, um, but 35% off, I decided to grab them because they did come up on eBay and it looks like they have a little bit of value. They are a promotional piece like take home Sunday cups. Um, or strawberry shortcake cups, probably, since they say strawberry patch on them. But I thought they were really cute, definitely vintage. This one is in need of cleaning bad. That's why I kind of hid it down here. Um, but yeah, I think they're great, and I thought they were worth the pickup. I think these are going to go over to the shop. If somebody locally in the Painesville area remembers this, then they will probably scoop them up because it's not around anymore. So it's kind of a nostalgic thing. And they're nice quality and there's no wear on that graphic at all. I also found this mug. So you know if you've been around for a while that I grab mugs when I see them cheap and I put them over in one of our booths. We have a mug area um, with kind of unique cool mugs. You're looking at this and you're like, what's unique about a white mug with a tan inside? <laughs> it has a saying on it that Earth and I use all the time. So I had to grab it. It's just a threshold, which is a Target brand, but it was a dollar minus 35%. And I couldn't leave it behind because it has that little saying. This might become my camper mug. I do have a couple of mugs in the camper but I do love the handle and the size of this one. So this may be this summer's camper mug. It's pretty great. We were sitting here doing our lookups and I looked over here and I saw this. And this is pretty cool. It's modern, but it'll look good on one of the back walls on our, on our teal wall, hanging there with some stuff in it. Let me see if I can zoom out, zoom out. Cute. I don't know if somebody set this out there right after I sat down to look at stuff in my cart, but I know I walked past that chair around that corner and I didn't see it. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I would have saw it. So I was excited when I stood up and I looked over and I saw it because it is really neat. I think that it's definitely modern, <laughs> but it has kind of a throwback look to it which people will love in the booth. I think it's gonna be easy to hang and I can display some things on it, some smalls, but I definitely expect this to sell. It's got such a great aesthetic, doesn't it? Shopping in the linens and things. So why is this open like this? Was this like a cover for something? What does that mean? I did too. I don't know, but it's too cute. Just a printed. Maybe I'll take a picture of it. This is like three yards of this upholstery fabric with these monkeys on it. And then I found a serape in these blues. Little hedgehogs and bunnies. I'm pretty sure that this is almost like a mini like duvet cover. <laughs> I think it takes a pad or a, um, you know, 
a comforter that you can slide in there. I got it thinking it might be a tablecloth and that's what she thought too at the counter. That's what I was charged. Um, however, I think it's more like a kid's thing. That's okay. I'm going to put it over at the booth in our linens and whoever decides that they love it can decide what they're going to use it for. I would be fine if it was a table covering. I think it's so cute with the little strawberries and the little critters. This is like an upholstery fabric. It's really quality and I love it. In fact, I had a shower curtain that was this pattern, like exactly in my old apartment, like 15 years ago. And I absolutely loved it. it has these little monkeys dressed up. I'm gonna check this out and see if um, this is something that would do good on eBay or if this will go over in the booth. The only information that was on this, it wasn't dated, but it does say copyright P. Kaufman Fabrics. So again, if I learn anything, I'm gonna share here on screen. I run into these Serapis very rarely. I've seen two in the past like week or two and I did end up picking this one up. I love the blues. These can be used as throws or as rugs and they just have a really cool kind of boho vibe to them. So they are pretty popular. This one will go over to the booth. After we checked out the linens, we took a minute to look at some of the blouses and stuff. There was a women's section um, right near there and I found this blouse. Yes, it is a thrifted piece and I love it. It is a Daisy Fuentes piece and it is sheer. You can see nice and light and airy for the summertime. It's kind of been a theme this year. If you've been watching some of the blouses that I've picked, it's like a year of the sheer, sheer year. <laughs> um, I absolutely love it and I think I spent like $4 or $5 minus the 35% off. So great deal, beautiful piece. And it's a, I guess on some people it would be full length sleeve, but I have very long arms. So I usually do little three quarter on these, especially if they have a little bit of elastic in there because then it'll actually stay up there. <laughs> but I love it and I wanted to share that. I know a lot of you are, um, picking up on the clothes that I pick up. So I always want to share when I find it. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't recording when I did, but yeah, super good find. The very last thing that I found as we were headed to the line to check out was this. It is a Pyrex container holder. I'm so excited about this, you guys. <laughs> I am one of those people who, when they take their casserole, like to the potluck dinner, it's wrapped in a towel or two. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So when I brought this home, Earth was like, no way, we have a little carrier for our Pyrex dish. I said, yes, we do. And it was perfect because this big piece of glass zipped up inside of here perfectly and it was protected all the way home. So it came in handy, but it's also gonna come in handy for all those times when we head out the door with our casserole dish. All right, everybody, so that was it. That was the final part of this trip to the Goodwill in Lakemore and our haul. I thought we did pretty great. Um, my aunt also filled the cart. I don't think I caught that on camera, but please, if you ever see anything that she's holding or that is in her cart, well, you did see that big um, jewelry box. Um, definitely hit her up. I will include her email down here in the information box and you can always check out her eBay store, which I will also include below. If you see anything in my cart, I have a little bit of a delay to listing things. So hit me up now. If you're watching this now, send me an email right to my email address and tell me that uh, you're interested in whatever you're seeing. Some of the stuff is going to be on the live sale, which is coming up on Tuesday. Some of it will go to eBay. I kind of tell you as I'm showing you where my brain is at as far as where it's going to be placed, but none of that has to go there if you get a hold of me and are really interested in it. So just let me know. All right, so we're going to end it here. And by the way, if you're still here with me, thank you so much. I really appreciate and love you. Thanks for hanging out. If you are still here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do that. Just uh, subscribe, hit the little alarm, set it to all so you know when I put up a new video, which happens a couple of times a week. And while you're clicking around down there, hit a like or dislike, I really don't care. <laughs> and then 
Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you saw on a shelf that I may have missed or something that I picked up that uh, you loved or anything that you know. But the best thing that you can do for the channel's growth is to share me out. Tell a friend that you found a new friend who likes to do what you do, which is thrift shopping and finding great treasures and bargain deals. Tell them to come on over and subscribe. Join our growing Yoso Boho tribe. All right, everyone. I will see you hopefully on Tuesday. Come see me live in the evening. Um, I will share that information again here, but come on over, chat with me. If you want to buy something great, if not, that's fine. Um, no pressure sales. Just come on over and say hello. But until then, please stay safe. Do something fun this weekend. I will see you next week. Bye.